Welcome back everyone, hope you have an awesome day, and today we're going to continue on that historical battle grind in Age of Empires 2. Last mission we were able to defend our Wanda and Noyang point, get that achievement, because that's what we do here, you know, easy peas, lemon squeeze. And now we're going to go to Kurikara, where we're going to uh, take Kyoto back for the glory of the Minamoto clan. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the campaigns on hard, get all the achievements where we can. This one does have an achievement, which is Lone Warrior. Uh, basically ignore the Hojo clan when they offer an alliance with you because we never trust campaign AIs around here. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a coffee, and let's move on to Historical Battle Kurikara 1183. Let's go. Gliding through the trees, the wind whispers a faint melody to the rhythm of the footsteps of Sue. My fan over its hot. The narrow mountain pass feels ominous and forbidding, and yet there is a peaceful aura to it that calms Minamoto's vanguard. Well, that's good that it's coming. The common soldiers groan as a deluge suddenly begins, transforming the soil into a treacherous sea of mud. The battle-hardened samurai alone are silent. Their honor is their prime concern, and it rests on the success heard that of their before. mission to deliver supplies to the besieged city of Kurikara. I must deliver these supplies to restore my honor. honor. <laughs> The Minamoto clan declared open opposition to the dominance of the wicked Taira, splitting Japan in two. Lord Minamoto controls the east, while his cousin, Yoshinaka, holds the frontier. Throughout two and a half years of war, the Taira have steadily advanced, rarely seeing defeat. Until today. Their armies strike at Kurikara in a three-pronged assault while an auxiliary force seizes the lighthouse at the point of the Noto Peninsula. Very rude. Controlling naval passage in and out of the Toyama Gulf. Entourages of samurai patrol all roads to Kurikara, and enemy supply lines reach all the way to Kyoto, the imperial capital. This will be the decisive battle of this war. If Kurikara falls, the Tyra will be free to flood into the Minamoto heartland and claim victory. If Kurikara holds and the Tyra are defeated, the tide will turn, and Minamoto may even be able to bring the fight to the gates of Kyoto. Nice, that's what I like to hear. That is what I like to hear. Wait for instructions. Simple and easy to remember. Minamoto's forces can support a population of 200, but this battle occurs long before the advent of gunpowder weapons, so we don't get like hand cannoneers and all that stuff. Roads in the region around Kurikara are crawling with Tyra troops. Taking the most direct route to the city would be advisable. The Tyra do not yet know that the supplies have been delivered to the city, but they will soon attack ferociously. The sea is of great strategic importance, but the route out of the bay is blocked by dangerous rocks. Having conscripted all of the locals into the army, the Tyra are unable to build any build rebuild any buildings. So the um so the green and the uh orange, I have to think of that it's weird. Green and orange, they can't rebuild buildings. So if we knock them all out, then it works out in our favor. Minamoto no Yoritomo has sent a relief force to aid the defenders of Kurikara, a walled city in the northeast loyal to Minamoto under the command of his cousin, Yoshinaka. The Hojo clan has a city in the east under sovereignty of their lord Tokimasa, whose motives are unknown. Their army will consist of cavalry and siege. Doesn't matter, as long as they don't get in our way, then we'll be fine. We'll be friends, but we're not going to form an alliance. Based on the several camps uh, scattered around the center of the map, the Tyra army will be your primary opponent early on. They train light cavalry, spearmen, and crossbowmen, and may also field samurai. The Tyra guards patrol the countryside with cohorts of infantry, and their villages are feeding the and supplying the Tyra forces. Surrounded by a moat and heavily fortified, the Tyra capital of Kyoto has yet to be captured by an invading army. Should its walls be breached, legions of samurai, halberdiers, and cavalry archers will rush to the city's defense. The Tyra armies are commanded by fierce warlords and princes, not the least of them, the statesman Tyra no Korimori. Uh, killing the princes commanding the Tyra armies in the field is vital to the success of your armies. It's basically knock out red, knock out orange, well knock out green, we and then win. Swift and elusive if we are to reach the city alive. I'm sure we'll be fine, buddy. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make group one our military, and group two is going to be our trade cart. We're going to run our trade cart to the left, and we're going to bring our, gonna bring our cavaliers down. We're just going to go on the offensive here. 
I'm going to bring our Cavaliers over to the side, just knock out these, uh, knock out all these annoying siege weapons. Ah, uh, there are Halberdiers here, my goodness. Oh, okay. Look, I've got the trade cart through, that's all that really matters. Chase him, chase him down. Get him. Get him, boy. There we go. Alright, we're going to do a quick little bit of scouting. Uh, actually, we should be careful because there are units of patrol over here. I just want to get the wood line in sight and then we'll make our way up. We'll bring him into the thing. Uh, we'll let him do the... since the trade cart's already here. We'll let him do the talk and then we'll do the Japanese. Uh, we'll have a look at their civ overview. Well, I didn't want them to see me, but they did, so... Fight with honor, you cowards! Nice. Somehow we still won. I don't know how, but we still won. That's all that really matters, you know? Hey, really? Reach the palace. I'll reach the palace. Do I need a you? That would have been very awkward if I lost all my units. I was like, well, if I at least if I get the trade cart there, we'll be fine, you know? Good to know. Very, um, very annoying, I will say, but good to know. So have, oh, I was going to say, we have the villager? No, the trade cart cancels the villager, doesn't it? Stay here. Well, at least we got we made it somehow. Many thanks for the supplies. No problem, buddy. Barely holding out. What news from Minamoto? Minamoto promises to send help over the mountains. Nice promises. I can spend that. With a rebellion, we are sent to aid in the defense of the city. Okay. Very well. We will do the best that we can. Take over defense of the city. We will do what we can, where we can. So the first thing we're gonna do is just immediately go Imperial Age. Get our villagers onto food. And let's just get our whole army together into just one big group, hey? And every one of our military units, all all of our military units. And then what we're actually going to do is we're going to build a couple of galleys, build a couple of fire ships too. Okay, just okay. I'm down, buddy. So yes, um, are these all just seriously not farming, really? My goodness. Get six villages out just to do farming after that. Just focus on getting all this food out for the moment. Just while we get our uh, other ships and stuff out. Let's maybe bring them into the towers that are shooting arrows at them, eh? Nice. Good work, Yasuma Towers. I know what that means. No one else does, though. Japanese infantry civilization. Fishing ships have two times hit points, an extra two pierce armor, and work a little bit faster. 5%, uh, 10%, 15%, 20%. In each age, so we're about to get to 20%, which would be nice. Mills, lumber, and mining camps cost 50% less. Infantry attack 33% faster starting in feudal age. So basically they're like attack reload is faster, they just do more damage. Cavalry archers have an extra two attack against archers. Our unique unit is the samurai, which we all should know about. Yasuma is towers shoot extra arrows. So you were seeing before when they were shooting, instead of shooting one, they shoot like three or four arrows. Actually, we will find out. They shoot an extra two arrows, which is nice. Uh, Cataparto, which is trebuchets fire and pack faster, which is a nice little funny thing there. Cata it's like basically catapult. And uh, team bonus is galleys have an extra 50 line of sight. 50% uh, sorry, line of sight, not 50, my goodness, it's a lot. Uh, so yeah, so uh, basically we get all of our villagers onto eating these things and then we got these ones coming out to farm for us. We'll focus on getting food so that we can get uh, villages, and then villages means more supplies, more supply, you know, all the, all the nice and fun things that happen. Once we get rid of all this, we'll build, we'll get a second uh, town center up and running. Well, we'll also build one here. That'll be our wood base. And uh, Tyra Arm area, oh, yeah, not too worried about. As you see, we have uh, built quite a navy up because we are going to go a little bit on the offensive. Let's get our... Um, Let's get all of our troops up here, eh? About, uh... And then... I suppose we'll just build... 
Let's see, do we have a swordsman? I don't have a swordsman. Right. So, because we got this, this is uh, given to us. This is already owned by um, the locals or whatever. Why do you want to sail around the peninsula, seriously? Due to the treacherous rocks. If we capture the lighthouse, then our ships would be able to pass safely. Yeah, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, I like how my fire ships aren't moving. Attack. What is this one? You're about to get deleted, buddy. My goodness. All right, we'll just attack move this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to land and just quickly take this boy out. Very fast. Very nice. Um, but for the most part, we do need to focus on other things, you know. When you all finish, let's get a town center up and running, and then you start cutting wood for me. We'll send some villagers out to get start getting some gold for us, eh? All right, we're going to send our fire ships up to deal with the tower. That. Yep, thank you. All right, now we get rid of this tower. Let the galleys take that out. Second galleys. Can we hit the tower, please? Thank you, Mr. Fireships. Goodness gracious. So, now we're getting this uh, town center up and running. I uh, would like to build a town center here, but I'm going to wait for a moment. Until we get, you know, all our things going. We've got ballistics, that's really the main thing. Alright, let's get rid of the dock, because the dock for some reason is like blocking all the things. Okay, now go for the tower. There, see, look at that. See, it's going down now. Was that so hard? Goodness gracious. All right, now we drop our troops off. We go on the offensive. There are towers here, but they are part of the locals. Uh, so we can actually just hit them. So as long as we knock out these uh, scorpions here, we should be right. And the unfortunate realization is you can't really use your fire ships after that. All right, we'll drop all our troops off there. Yep, we got a galley there. Let's get rid of that, please. Fortunate. Kind of push forward. I just can deal with everything else. Send our melee units up. Get rid of this first, please. Thank you. Archers, let's go. Got him. And then once we knock that boy out, nice. So now we get this area. And we can sail around here, but really it's just so that they stop attacking coming into the bay. So now, if we want to, if we want to start getting some uh, food income, let's get some fish and chips. Start bumping that bad boy up, eh? We're gonna make fifteen villages onto wood. We can actually just send more villages out. We'll get them onto stone. We'll get five on gold, five on stone, just to start off with. Just to kind till we get situated, and then up to you. We can, well, I might just, I might just bring these units down because if they. If they get knocked out, they get knocked out. We can get rid of these, uh, this transport ship. We don't need it anymore. And then all of our troops over here. Put them on defense mode. Put them near the, this area here. Actually, we can move them up now. We keep them here. No ships will get past. Yeah, well, I didn't... Look, I wasn't expecting a lot, but, you know, it would have been nice if something happened there. Let's get our wood cutting upgrade because wood is going to be very important. Uh, conscription, since we're waiting, let's get chemistry, that'll be nice. Uh, treadmill crane would be nice. Murder holes would also be very, very nice. Squires and arson for our samurais. If you're not going to use cavaliers, don't worry about it. I might, so I'm going to get husbandry. I'm not going to worry too much about our main, um, our, uh, men at arms and all that. But really, it is just getting these extra bonuses out. Actually, make a couple more villages. I'm gonna get some farms out. If I can. Yep. I can click the button. Thank you. Game. See, we should have had um. Yeah, we got yeah. all them uh, farming.
The next kind of uh, course of action, depending on if you really care about ships, if you want to go naval, you can. You just can't have uh, bombard. It's like cannon galleons. Wait. Maybe it's because you can get them, but they're blacked out. Maybe. I'm not actually sure there. Um, but for the most part, I'm probably not going to worry about getting ship right. It's not very naval heavy. You can do naval stuff. It's not naval heavy, you know? You feel me? Beautiful. You actually come down here. Alrighty, so that's our um, eco kind of well situated now. Let's just kind of get a couple upgrades, start building up a bit of an army. Probably go. Uh, we'll probably go archers and samurai. Focus mainly on um, on archers. Uh, this one, you feel one of these, you feel that tower, you feel this tower. What on, uh, no more of gold coming our way, is it? You alright, eh? A cart has arrived over Ooh. The mountains from so we're going to get carts constantly as well from the mountains. The palace in Kurikara. So all you need to do is just make sure it gets to Kurikara. I actually don't know, will caravan help there? Let's find out. If this guy starts moving, he's moving pretty slow. I think maybe caravan will help. We'll see what happens, eh? It doesn't really matter, but it just, you know, it gets there faster. But every cart you get, you're going to get a thousand gold. It'll be a nice little boost to your economy there. Caravan's almost done. I just want to see if he moves faster, that's all. Is it a unit we get, or is it a unit we get given? That's a little annoying. Oh well. Whatever, there's only, what, 100 resources, I'm not too worried about it. It's very silly. Why would it even do that? Uh, sometimes this game, I just go, you know... I have an interesting relationship with it. Alright, let's get Kataparoto. And, as you see, like, yeah, ships... Oh, hello! They're, um... Oh, this is the whole thing. Okay, let's get rid of these onagers, maybe, because they're probably the biggest threat, honestly. Who we? Uh, since they're not able to hit us, let's use these fly tails to get rid of those <laughs> rams, because the uh, pikemen are in the way. Nice. Okay. We'll do that. Maybe we can get some village. Oh, I suppose I've deleted them now, so it doesn't even matter. Let's so say we can get some villages out and um, kind of show them who's boss, but I don't think that'll actually help. A couple more archers. As I said, we'll probably go archers, but really I just want to fill these towers up first, and then I'll worry about getting all my upgrades, you know? Um, let's not do that, actually. And we'll get thumbering. We do cavalry archers, I suppose, as well. Depends on your eco. If you want to do cavalry, I'll just go for it. They'll be good against other archers as well, because they have an extra two attack, don't they? Yeah. Honestly, probably... You know what? Now I'm thinking of it. Cavalry archers probably is a better run. Um, you do have to get, like, heavy, you know, all the upgrades, but... It might actually be better doing that, because you get the, um... You do have Parthian tactics. Which ain't too bad. I think maybe I will think about getting um, all the tower upgrades and stuff and maybe Yasuma. Yasuma's pretty good. Start getting some tribes out. We're going to go on the offensive very soon. Uh, how's our, what's our eco looking like? Maybe a couple more villages out. You know what I actually would actually prefer? Let's get some more fishing ships. A couple more. We'll get another two, I reckon. Good drop off. That'll be. I think that'll be a very good uh, food eco coming our way. Now, what is? Uh, we do have a lot of food, so let's. Uh, no, let's start maybe thinking about samurais. Building our uh, troops up. We got light cavalry, and I'll get some uh, scouts out as well, just for siege weapons and such. 
Yeah, I think I might build a castle here or something. I think I might just build a castle. Honestly. Because it's starting to annoy me. Let's get a transport ship out. Yeah. Nah, I only need two forges. Then one more out on gold, and then the next two will put. Just to keep our food eco up and running. The keep. Since I'm building it now, I'm gonna just go for it. As I just go full upgrades. And because we have, you know, Yasuo Tower is very good as well. All right, let's um. Go, hop on, boys. What if I build? I might build like two towers there, maybe two towers here. That should be enough. Instead of a castle, I don't know if a castle is actually going to help. I suppose I could build a castle and then have samurai coming this way. Seems a bit too, too, you know, hey, a bit how you going, you know? Once we get the towers there. Oh boy. Oh boy, we will be laughing. Alright, uh, uh, don't need the transport ship here anymore. Yeah, you thought I was joking. I actually meant I'll just build four tails here. You know what? We'll, uh, protect this with, uh, we'll protect this with the gate. How about that? We'll even build the gate. Just so it starts getting built. Nice. So that that way they can't, uh, run through it. towers up. Alrighty, let's uh, think about offensive strategies now. He says not making any units or making any forward you know, motions. Okay, another card. My goodness. Alright. Hey, I'll take it. Group 2, let's go. We'll just make this all our uh, first group, group one. I'll actually bring them over here. I'll actually leave my... We're going to leave the scouts over here. I don't even trust it. Shift control. That's a mass deselect. Things that are handy to know, I guess. Nice. And we'll just send these troops forward and also just attack me that way. Group 2. Look at that. Okay, we're laughing now. Let's get 2 man saw. Start knocking out like towers and stuff. Oh, look at that. Oh, that makes me so happy. Did you see how fast they set up? They were like, bro, get them up. Get them cataparatos up. Send some over here now. Nice. One volley knocks out an archery range. That's very good to know. We're still going to get like a few more trebs. A few more trebs out though. Do have that two stable up here? Let's just make some of these and send them out. Easy peas. I already knocked out two of them. Mate, I'm waiting for an action chunk. Hey! Rude. Oh, we've lost one there. Run away, Mr. Samurai! There is no one, there is uh, no, what is it, dishonor in retreat. Only another day to fight. Archery Rangers, let's... My lord, the Hojo clan oh, that's nice. The I don't care. To their palace to discuss an alliance. The Hojo clan can la suck it. I know, right? I'm very rude. Alright. Cav archers, let's get the spam going. Group 2. Once we knock out this uh, tower, I'll be pretty happy. Oh, hello. Okay, let's, um, 
some some cover of you. Now we let the tail. Oh, look at the tails go. Oh my goodness. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Alright, let's get some. Uh, I'm just gonna go. I think we'll go cav archers. I know I've said it about four times, but I think we'll just go cav archers, honestly. And speaking of cav archers, let's get some more archery ranges, eh? Nice little, uh, nice little square block here. I might even build a couple of stables just if I need just like some forward units quickly. After that, since I've got the resources, let's build a town center. And then I'm going to build a castle there just to defend. Actually, we should build it forward for the, um, that gold. So I'm gonna build it like I might build just a couple of stables here as well, okay? Some more trebs out. Handful of trebs, handful of stuff. All the upgrades, all the upgrades. Uh, Cavalier, if I really wanted to go for it. Yeah, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, we have the the cart here that I totally remembered that was there. Um, after this, I don't know. Just build a. I'm gonna build a tower there, so it kind of aggro's them up to here, you know. Nice. Yep, those those towers are definitely a good play there. So if you want to pro strat number one, send all of your troops. Uh, let's pack up. Group four for our archery range. We're going to get uh, both our upgrades and make some more. I'm just going to get this. All right, our um, scouts are making very silly decisions here. That being said, we have cavalry archers now. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Let's get rid of this tower quickly, just while we're here, you know. Alright, back up, let's go. I love that you can just, just quickly, oh, we're just going to set up quickly and just knock something out. Now we run away. Right, let's go, cavalry, send them in. Got spearmen in here, let's go. We got samurai, let's send them in. The cavalry archers are literally here to just defend our trebs from evil doers. Alright then, Mr. Yeah, that's what I thought, buddy. Alright, we'll put you on defense mode. Let you just kind of do your thing. We'll let our uh, trebuchets also do their thing. Another treb down here. Let's go, let's go. I think cavalry archers was actually the play. I'm not going to lie. I think Cavalry Archers was actually the play. Let's get this, uh, please get this castle up. Please get this castle up. Oh my goodness. Come on, keep building it, keep building it. Ugh, 95, I don't know. Let's send some Cav Archers over here, I think. And then send some Scouts over too, since we've got a pretty good... Three deco. Okay, these guys can die because they're just um annoying me with that idle villaginess. I think they can pull on me. Let's go. Nice. They let they let me in. That was very silly of them. Group two. Let's pack up. Push forward, let's hit their docks. Bring my uh, cab archers in. I'll just put them on stand ground for now. That's all that out. Good. Get these ones into gold mining. And we'll build a mining camp there. Why not? Nice, nice, nice. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Get rid of all their production buildings. Look, we got the cav archers. Let's knock out the galleys. Beautiful. Hit them with the bra. Alright, trebuchets. Pack up, let's go. We go for the tower now. Oh, no. That was samurai, not 
apparently I, I didn't hit my trigger. Did I not hit my trigger? Just send some more up just on the off chance we start losing them, but I think 37 cab archers begs to differ. Group, uh, we'll make that group three. Group three, and we'll actually use these ones as well. Group three. Just send some more scouts out. Uh, group four. Cav archers, I'm pretty sure I said that already. Back up. Ah, nice. Alright, let's push forward. A couple of towers here, that's alright, we can set up, knock them out. Uh, if we can hit this gate wherever we go, we should be able to hit everything in the base. So, out there-ish. Just so all of them can set up, really. Nice. Alright, we'll just hit stop, put them on stand ground, let them do their thing. Alright, villagers, look, this is uh, quite inefficient. Let's get some of that going. Let's get the gold mining upgrade, that would have been nice to have ages ago. Maybe even the farming upgrade, which I thought I had. I don't know why I would have thought I had it, I didn't research it, so... Don't know why I upgraded that ship, but you know what, I'll take it. Ship upgrades will do. Uh, can we maybe, like, knock out the tower this way? That's probably the biggest threat. Alright, now we get rid of the stable. Nice, Discovery Archer's doing excellent here. Oh, hello, Cavalry, are right in front of a thing here. that let's go nice got more troops coming oh lordy oh lordy they coming group two oh, i think we're doing pretty well be honest with you I'm going to start some samurai this way, and while we do that, let's get our upgrades. I'm going to stop this. I don't think we need any more trebs, I'll be honest with you. Okay, group two, pack up. Let's start going. Another treb there, yep, group two, let's go. Yep, cavalry there, but I think it's okay. Just kind of just pushing in almost. Yep. Go up here. We'll knock out this base, and then we'll come down. We'll knock out the other base. Knock out the tower. Just pull our cavalry up. Put them on stand ground. And let them just sit there and do do their thing. Let's go. Nice. All these troops as well. Let's come down to the blue army. Set everything down there. Everything here. Just shift elite. Get rid of those. We're not going to use skirmishes and that anymore, I don't think. I don't think, anyway, but, you know. How could I possibly know, you know? Oh, pack up. Hang on. No. Everyone stop. Uh, pack up, everyone. Let's go this way. Have archers. Let's go. A lot of green villages here, and a lot of things I don't want to deal with, so... Get to work, boys. Nice. Alright, we're here now. Set up, let's go. Alright, uh, three. Set it here. Let's get, um, let's... Since I've got a pretty good eco, I'm gonna start making some cav... um, some, uh, cavaliers. And we'll just bring them all here to kind of reinforce. And then we've got this base here, actually. We're just going to attack move this way. Alright, let's back up. Wow. Was that really necessary for one farm? Another cart has arrived. Alright, we'll just click it, and then you come up here. Let's go. Yep, let's just start taking all that stuff out, eh? We're here now, let's knock out the tower. And we'll just push our cavalry archers up. Watch this. Oh, beautiful. Bruh. No 
Went for a challenge. Let's go. Once you knock out that, yep. You guys all come up here. Let's start knocking out this tower. Get this. Really should download that range mod so I know how far everything is. How far away everything is. It's a lot of effort, but... See, like, I wouldn't know that... Oh my goodness, no. Nice. <laughs> oh my lordy. This is almost very, like, depressing to watch. I'll take it, though. More cavaliers, more cavalry archers. Let's send them down. Uh, there's a tower up here. If you knock that out, then we can hit everything else. It's low. And, like... I mean, look at the ocean. It is just completely fished out. My goodness, how many fishing ships? Twelve fishing ships. Look at these towers. They're holding the fort. So there you go. If you want to, uh, to defend this area, just build a couple of Yasma towers and you'll be laughing at them. Won't have any response to anything you have. Right, let's get that. And your cavalry archers are literally there to just defend all your troops. Your uh, trebs, sorry. Troops, trebs. You can see how they're interchangeable. Alright, back up. We've swung our volley out. Nice. Hey everyone, let's uh, let's have about this? We retreat and we let the cavalry archers do their thing, eh? Hey, what's happening here? Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's put the cavalry archers in one group. Oh my lordy, lordy, lordy. All right, put them on stand ground. Put them here. Trebs, let's start moving down. Let's start going this way. We'll just leave them here for now, just while they're waiting. Yep, good spot here, alright. Oh, hang on. We don't want to, um, don't want to annoy them yet. Let's get our traps here. Let's just worry about the tower first, eh? Don't worry about too much about everything else. Speaking of, we can probably get some villages over there. Once you all finish. I'm going to think about, we'll see, can I build a good one there? We've got a couple of castles here just to kind of defend. We actually almost have enough for three castles just right off the bat. We'll make that group six just so I can quickly click them. Let's get the tower first. These cab archers, get rid of that one. Thank you. Alright, nice. We just need to uh, knock out this tower first, I think. Make this one group one so I can quickly just click it. I've been clicking one to like pick all my cab archers and it hasn't worked out, you know. Slowly just pushing up. Not the cleanest uh, on a dodge there, but we get rid of this boy. Really? Okay. Alright, let's take this out. Man, I'm, I'm gonna say Cataparato is actually really cool. Just getting. Just the fact that you're able to just put all your units there and. Like, you throw a volley out, and then you pack up, and it's just no time whatsoever. Alright, uh, since we uh, don't have gold, we'll just send the uh, send scouts out, hey? I was going to get a uh, crop rotation. No, no, I got that. Cool. Uh, let's get this stone mine going, eh? Hey? Oh, no. Let's go, Trebs. Nice! <laughs> one shot, just one shot, them. my goodness. Knock out the um, towers, because I'm not sure what kind of constitutes a... Like anything that kind of happens there, but... 
Yeah, that, that scout's not gonna really do much, I don't think. Well, hello, maybe it will actually, never mind. Excellent. Oh, hello, okay. Um, my, where are my cavaliers here? No, that's my cavalry archers, cavaliers. Let's go on. Quake and the Tyra fools tremble before the might of my army. Nice. Let's get this castle up, eh? Uh, I'm gonna actually, we're gonna sell some stuff. Oh, hello. Hey, I'll take it. Oh my goodness. Alright then, since it's like telling me, like, yes, there are units here. Like, I know, thank you. It doesn't actually help me, but thank you. Alright, now we take the fight to... Where are these guys going? Wait, were they following the green? Or... Anyway, whatever. We'll just let them do their thing. Enough. has arrived over the mountains from Kamakura. Ensure that Group it one. the palace in Kurikara. Where is oh I suppose yeah, we lost it all, eh? Alright. All samurai, let's go. That being said, we've got our mounted samurai, don't we? Where's that big army going? There it is. Alright, Minamoto, you come here. Just so that my mounts of samurai get here a little faster. 14 plus 4. Cavalry with fast attack, strong versus unique units. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Saves me building them, I guess. Fix the cav archers, just, you know, casually. Alright, uh, pack up everyone. The Mount Samurai here. Oh, here we go. Attack move this way. Got some keeps, it looks like. Yep, okay. We'll send them in, honestly, and we'll just let them come do their own thing. Get our trebs in. Oh my lord, listen to that sound. Oh, it's like playing the Mongols all over again. Oh my lordy, look at them go! Oh, there's a castle there. Let's not do that. Let's deal with this, eh? Okay, castles, let's deal with that. There's a castle over here too. Actually, let's deal with this first. Let's get that one out of here. Get rid of this one. Oh, hello, Alec. Get rid of this one. Let's go, let's go. Let me just kind of do the thing. Send the boys in, let's go, come on. Ah uh, yeah, we don't need villages now, I don't think. We'll send we'll send our reinforcements in here, I think. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. What do I need to do actually? Conquer Kyoto and kill Tyra no Korimori. Alright, well let's run this way. And see if that's all I need to do. If I just need to knock this boy out, then maybe we can cut down some time, you know? But I will knock out this castle while I can. And we'll send our Mount Samurai up here just to defend them. But if I just need to knock out this boy... Could be it, right? Nice. Tower Wall was defeated. Is that all I needed to do? Or do I need to, like, knock everything out? Because that'll be the, uh, that will be quite the question, I think. Looks like I need to actually knock, like, stuff out, which is annoying. Alright then. Yep, we'll send these Mounts of Samurai up to deal with Trebs. They're counting tre count up Trebbing us. Not a big fan of that. Siege Workshop up there. This is some Trebs here, actually. Move. Do that treb, good work, good work. Have archers, let's move up. Samurai, let's move. Okay, the towers, let's go. 
as you can see, um, not really a big problem. I think ca cavalry archers were the way to go, I think. Everything moved a little bit faster with the cav archers, I think. Um, all these units that aren't in the base, maybe we start moving into the base, hey? Even Minamoto. Get him in there. So, the fact that there's another trebuchet tells me that there must be a castle over here somewhere. Stop. We just move. Just move. There it is now. Didn't get a lucky shot on us, good. Run away, run away. Listen to that sound. There's another castle down here, my goodness. All right, then. Once we knock out all this stuff here, we'll be fine. So three and four, we'll bring them down here. But we kind of just choose their targets. All right, let's um, let's just knock out all these military buildings, and I don't have to worry about them anymore. Since I've got them here, we'll knock out the tower while we're there. Four trips left, but we should be right. Because once we wheel the cavalry archers over to the other side, they're not going to be able to do much, I don't think. Looks like all their buildings here, that archery range is down. That looks about it, so we'll pack up. I don't worry too much about their, um, their weird stuff. Let's just go for their, like, you know, their trade cards and stuff. Let's just go for the... Over here, everyone. Knock out the towers. Knock all this stuff out. Let's go. Cover your archers. You deal with their units. Group 1. Let's get rid of this quickly so we don't have to deal with troops, and then we'll have this set up there. Look at this. Oh. My goodness. I don't think the com my computer can handle this and recording. It's it is like not liking it right now. Nice. Okay, I think we're fine. Let's give up four. As long as we knock out that castle, I think that's all we have to do. Surely that's conquered Kyoto, right? Or do we still have to knock everything out? Group one, let's go. Alright, let's knock out everything else. Alright, stop for Let's just get rid of that. What is this guy doing? He's freaking out. That that ram was freaking out for a second. Uh, tower. The, <laughs> they're slowly making units, but it's like not even like actually working. Alright, let's get it stable. Man, that I actually forgot that Kata Kataparato is such a useful tech. Alright, that's gotta be it, surely. My goodness. He died ages ago. He was like dead when everything was still up. Did Alminamoto still survive? That's a real question. I suppose I won't see. Thunder boomed as spears of lightning pierced the sky. Driven back Zeus from the walls of Kurikara, the Tyra army retreated in panic as Minamoto claimed victory after victory. Smoke rose from the enemy camps and floated towards Kyoto. An ominous shadow of the doom approaching those... A shadow of doom. Offering thanks and prayers to the gods, Minamoto halted and made camp outside Kyoto. Siege engines pounded the walls for days, reducing its great castles to piles of rubble. 
As the main gate fell, samurai poured into the city, while Minamoto strode triumphantly to the Imperial Palace. <laughs> Just walked in with a big banner. It's like, yes. With the power of the Tyra broken and their capital taken, a seemingly doomed rebellion had triumphed. It would take two more long years, but Minamoto's prowess as a commander ensured victory at the Battle of Danoura, ending the Genpei War Genpei. and ushering in the new era of the Kamakura Shogunate. Ah, oh, don't you love to hear it? Wow, that's a lot of units. I did, like, I thought that was a lot. That's a lot of units. I did not expect to knock out 925. Oh my goodness. Seven minutes of Imperial Age, beautiful. Quick look at the map. There's not really much here. Um, so as you see, um, there's the little boys down here. Uh, the local villagers. If you really want, they do have a dock. You can trade with it once you knock out the uh, enemy dock here. Trade with that. Pretty good gold if you find gold is lacking. You get the trade cards and see I even have a trade card here so yeah and um yeah just knock out the bases <laughs> knock out all the bases as you can see and then uh push forward into Kyoto I think going for I think still going this way is probably better if uh I'm just trying to see no because then you have to go through here no yeah going, going through the front door is better front door knock out all their buildings and just slowly spread out get a couple of castles up I like to build castles there just so when they bring units out it shoots them and then you don't have to worry about them. Uh, I didn't hear the ding for the achievement. It doesn't... I did get it though. So I didn't hear... I didn't hear the ding. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. But I do... Hang on. You know what? Just so you know that I'm not... We'll change it to the Pokemon Masters background. Alright. Just for a second. Okay. Uh, turn off Elgato. Yep. At the top there. Lone Warrior. So... Oh, there we go. So you got it there. Nice. Oh, you can't see because it it's behind gets us. But yes. So we did get it. Uh, achievement got easy peas lemon squeeze um only winners so uh heck the hojo clan you sit there in the corner and think about what you did wrong but yeah thank you all for watching hope you all enjoyed let me know down below if you have uh freed kurikara from the grass from the grip of the uh evil empire i don't know who it was <laughs> and then i'll see you in the next mission which is going to be kyoto 1582 that'll be our last historical battle so catch you in. see you in the next one